per FINRA's uh, corporate action, or cor corporate action uh, right, that came out. Um, basically what that means is MMTLP is being deleted as a ticker uh, after the trading day on the 12th. So 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 What's going on, MetaFam? We got another action-packed video here for you tonight, so hope you're ready for that. Go ahead and smash thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Let's get to it. First things first, Rare DD. We got to cover his post. It has been 278 days since the MMTLP U3 halt. FINRAT conduct itself can be deceptive if it gives victim a false impression. If you recall, FINRA didn't tweet posts for a long period of time after they U3 halted MMTLP. Since they resume, they post at least once a day, but sometimes they post a duplicate. What do you think they'll never uh, post about revamping their corporate action process? Yes, very interesting. All right, the breaking news here comes from Anna Trade. So uh, thank you to Anna for uh, all your hard work and all the meta fam out there and everything that is going on, everyone's hard work. Um, let's go over Anna's post here. Anna Trade says, MMTLP breaking news. The House Financial Service Committee are meeting tomorrow about MMTLP message below is from one of the Fab 15 offices. The Financial Services Committee to determine next steps. At this point, we feel it is most helpful to have coordinated response, FINRA slash SEC listens, to requests from the committee much more than an individual member. I have a meeting on Thursday with the committee to discuss next steps and will raise every suggestion you made below. Our goal is your goal, get answers and solutions. So what can you do in the meantime? Please reach out to your congressional offices today, asking for letters to go to Chairman Patrick McHenry, seeking for him to subpoena the audited aggregate share count and the blue sheet data. So that's what you can do if you have time, either um, first thing in the morning, uh, make that call and ask them to reach out to Patrick McHenry and get the information on MMTLP. Tell them the story, guys. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great... Uh, information out there you can pass along and um yeah and uh we also seen unusual whales uh has put a couple posts out for mmtlp which is really nice to see as well and also here our buddy frank nez has an article out here so make sure you go check him out franknez.com says congress is now cracking down on the mmtlp fraud scandal so another great article there our buddy Ham Shortkiller says, the truth about how big the naked short in MMTLP will come out soon. How big is it? Must be huge to keep hiding the number. Uh, Mike Carpo here says, know the SEC trap to have the answer soon. The fraud will expose real soon. So, man, I tell you what, man, like I said, exciting times are ahead. Uh, got this new energy, even it had something crazy happen today, uh, a little off topic here. Uh, my car freaking, I don't know what the heck happened, man. It's a 2019, uh, I don't know if it's either the battery, the alternator, the starter, is it my key fob? It's one of those, uh, push to start cars. Uh, we, we did replace the battery and the key fob, had to get it towed to the local, uh, Nissan dealership and they'll look at it tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get an answer if they have time to get it in to see what is wrong. So, uh, man, this great news. And then your freaking car has to go do something stupid. Uh, these new cars are so much electronics in them and something so dumb can keep the car from running. I, I really believe it is something dumb uh, from keeping the car from starting. So we looked up all the uh, tips and tricks on YouTube and, you know, Google. We did all that stuff. Nothing seemed to work. Uh, we even tried to jump it to see if maybe it was the battery, and that didn't work either. So, hopefully the dealership will be able to get us some answers on that. And last thing I wanted to cover here is a nice, long, uh, very well put together post from Mr. Mark Basile. But before we get into Mark Basile's post, um, if anyone would be interested, and this isn't through me, uh, my mother-in-law, actually, my wife's mother, uh, she does uh, tumblers. She makes tumblers, and this is the big like forty 
40 ounce cup, 44 ounce cup. This thing is massive, man. So I had her, I mean, you can see here, this, this is literally a freaking huge big gulp. I mean, this, this here is like, I think it's 40 ounce or 44 ounce cup. Um, and she made this one here for me. Uh, we got the MMTLP on there on the one side. And then we got the buy the dip on the other side. If anyone would be interested in buying that, um, contact me. You can message me on Twitter. Um, and then I can get you the contact info if you'd like to go ahead and purchase one of those. So it looks like those cups are $40 plus, I think, $9.99 shipping anywhere in the United States. Uh, they come in a nice box, so that's why the shipping is like $10. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, like I said, just message me or leave a comment down below um, in this video. And I'll get you in touch if you can, if you like to purchase one of these uh, buy the dip cups. Like I said, very, very nice. And you even got the silicone. You get a cleaner, uh, a straw cleaner with it as well. All right. So back here, uh, Mark Basile says, Dear Elon Musk, I am writing you as a concerned contributor to the Twitter platform, specifically regarding MMTLP community. The MMTLP community follows you closely and understands that you are an advocate to clean up the public trading markets, not just for your own company, Tesla, but for all public company shareholders that face the unbalanced system of public company stock trading. If you didn't know, FINRA instituted a U3 halt two days before their own guidance suggested, and over 65,000 retailers, mom and pop traders became trapped in limbo. Expecting an additional two days of trading, I have personally visited with many members of this community, many who have lost their life savings, lost their families, lost their marriages, homes, and other assets. Assets. I know you care for people. We see that with your company, your public statements. The MMTLP community is stricken with grief. Tens of thousands of everyday people are facing financial ruin. There are really no big voices with a national platform for this community. Only thousands of small voices screaming of economic and emotional pain. You are a great humanitarian, and this is a great humanitarian crisis. Not just for the community investors, but for hundreds of thousands of investors across the country facing similar hardships in their other investments. This is how badly this community has been beaten down, and everywhere they turn, they run into a brick wall. And if you don't believe this is a true issue to get behind, please listen to U.S. Senator Mike Crapo grilling obliviously nervous Gary Gensler, SEC chair, in yesterday's Senate hearing, focusing on the MMTLP situation, and he gives the link to the YouTube video. I write to you not to annoy you. I just wanted to provide some additional color in the hopes that you could acknowledge MMTLP community with a shout out. They are devastated and need a comforting hand while uh, they try to get a resolution. I continue to wish you well in all your business adventures. So thank you, Mark, for putting that piece together. Um, that would be huge if Elon Musk uh, would put any kind of a shout out about our situation. Uh, it would be huge. Uh, that's going to draw some major attention and maybe even get us more uh, congressional people on our side. Uh, like I said, it's all about getting the, the, the voice out there. We've had Charles Payne have us a couple of different times on there uh, talking about MMTL, and that's huge. And getting more people like Charles Payne to step forward and uh, you know be on the side for the individual retail investor, and especially this situation. Elon Musk would be, be like the, the cherry on top, man. It really would be. Uh, but we got task at hand tomorrow. Uh, we got that meeting, so we're going to see what comes out of that. We'll have probably a video if anything big comes out of that. And I'll probably have an update on the car if I get any update from the local dealership on that situation. That kind of sucks right now. Uh, hopefully the car gets fixed. And hopefully it ain't so freaking expensive. I know dealerships, man, it's like, I don't know, $1,000 all the time. Everything's $1,000, you know. So hopefully it ain't nothing like that. Money's kind of whatever right now. But, uh I like to see MMTLP get resolved because everything's happening at once and that would be a good time for all this to come through. Uh, so, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Love and appreciate every single one of you all. Peace.